The Seminoles scored five runs in the bottom of the first, and once again, the bottom of the lineup came up big as Florida State swept Hofstra with a 13-6 win on Sunday at Dickhauser Stadium. And I was just very impressed with the Hofstra team, but at the same time, very impressed with our guys, the way we played the game and took it to them. There was not any, well, we got this one, so to speak. Yeah, they kept coming back at us, but it wasn't something that we did. I think we just have a, a good lineup overall, from the top to the bottom of the lineup, and everyone hits on the team, to be honest with you. I feel like we're all ready to play, to be honest with you. And I feel like young guys, old guys, we're all producing. We can all do the right thing. So we all have confidence in everyone. We, I know we were all nervous, uh, but it was, uh, I think we, you know, I think we did great. You know, I mean, anytime you're, you're sweeping and, uh, you know, you come out with three wins, I think, you know, nothing to complain about. It's just, you know, I just tried to stay within myself, try not to do too much. And, you know, 11 told me, he's like, don't get cheated, no guys. So I was, okay, coach, I got you. And, um, you know, threw me the pitch kind of high and in and took a good swing at it. Really, really like the way Jose is playing the game. He beat you with his legs. He's a very good outfielder. John Nagowski's a very good first baseman. It's just that uh, he's going to be behind Jace all year, but at the same time, he's going to get some time there. I'm just just pleased that we're able to get him some at-bats. The Seminoles return to action right here at Hauser on Tuesday night as they take on the Jacksonville Dolphins at 6 p.m. That'll wrap up things for now. LaneHurtSeminoles.com.